Operation Tailwind was the final military conflict between Nigeria and Biafra. The operation took place in the towns of Aweri and Uli, both of which were captured by Nigerian forces. The operation ended with General Odomegui Oyukwu fleeing to the Ivory Coast and then President of Biafra Philip Effing surrendering to Olushigan. Obasanjo. Background. On May 30, 1967, Odomegui Oyukwu declared the Republic of Biafra independent from Nigeria. For a month Nigeria claimed that Biafra was a part of Nigeria and it would stay so. It was not until July 6, 1967, when Nigeria invaded Biafra at the Battle of Nsukka. Biafra invaded Nigeria in August 1967 but were intercepted by Yakuba Gowan on August 21, 1967, and were repelled back at the Battle of Or. Biafra kept a stiff resistance until their capital was taken in October 1967 at the fall of Enugu. The Biafran capital was moved to Irumuahia where it stayed for another two years. Nigeria captured the Biafran stronghold of Port Harcourt on May 19, 1968, at the capture of Port Harcourt by Nigerian General Benjamin Adekunle. Adekunle tried to take the Biafran capital of Umuahia and the two other Biafran strongholds of Aweri and Abba during Operation OAU. During Operation OAU Adekunle gained control of Aweri and Abba but lost 21,500 men during the battles of OAU. In late 1968 Biafra was given $1,044,000 in donations by a British radio station. The Biafran government was able able to deduct money from the donation to buy military supplies for their army. In early 1968 the Biafran army captured the city of Aweri at the capture of Aweri. The capture of Aweri gave the Biafrans hope for their cause. For months Nigeria and Biafra were in a stalemate. It was not until December 23, 1969, when Nigeria invaded the Biafran capital of Umuahia. On Christmas Eve 1969 Umuahia fell to Nigerian troops. The Biafran capital was then moved to Aweri. Final Offensive On January 7, 1970, the 3rd Marine Commando Division under Gen. Obasanjo, supported by the 1st Infantry Division to the north and the 2nd Infantry Division to the south, launched their final offensive. The Biafra Nest Division under Captain Azumasoya was operating along the Port Harcourt, Alela Road. The division found itself cut off and disorganized due to a quick envelopment by the Nigerian 17th Brigade under Marge. To me, the Nigerians now began making their advance on Aweri. On the outskirts of the Aweri, Biafran LT, Carl Lambert Ionarcho's 63rd Brigade came under withering attack by Marge. Tomei's 17th Brigade, supported by 122mm Soviet artillery. In less than a day of fighting the 63rd Brigade became overwhelmed by the Nigerian bombardment and were forced to surrender. While the Nigerians were preoccupied with attacking the 63rd Brigade, the Biafran leadership made their final meeting in which President Oyukwu announced his plans to go abroad in search of peace. Ojiku handed over the Biafran presidency to his vice president Philip Effing and placed all remaining Biafran troops under the command of Maj. Joseph Achuzi. On January 9, Maj. Timothy Onwu Achuegwu escorted Ojiku to the Uli airstrip where he boarded his private jet and fled to the Ivory Coast. Immediately after Oyukwu's departure President Heffing called for a ceasefire to discuss the details of surrender. On January 12 Philip Heffing, Joseph Achuzi, Ogbigo Kalu, and other Biafran officers made their way to Amichi and later Aweri to broadcast their final surrender to Carl Obasanjo. Aftermath there are two accounts about Timothy Onwu at Chuegwu's death in days following the surrender. One account by his former co-conspirator Marge Adewayel Adamoyega states that he was tricked into attending a meeting at a hotel with federal officers of the 3rd Marine Commando Division. At this meeting, that was said to have occurred on January 15th. 
He was summarily shot dead by vengeful officers personally aggrieved by the assassination of Brig. Adam Ulegun and his wife during the 1966 Nigerian coup d'état. An alternative account given by Carl Obasanjo states that during the process of surrender, Ong Wu unsuccessfully attempted to ambush him near Amichi. After this he apparently made for the Cameroon border and was later killed in a firefight with Nigerian 1st Division soldiers. The truth about Marge on Wu Wu's death remains a mystery.